And welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Purple Terran in the Southeast with my partner Mart Junks. He is the light blue Protoss player in the Northeast up against CZR, the Red Terran in the Southwest, and Jethro. He is the blue ter the wow blue Protoss player in the Northwest. You see what not doing these for a while has done to me. I cannot speak anymore. The map is Warsong Gulch? For, no. No, that's that would be something else. I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say like Warzone now actually. I have no idea. I don't remember the the two V two map names. I to be honest I I don't really think twice about it. But I do like this map. Um, I do like the the shared uh, the sh the shared entrance to the expansions here, while still individualizing the bases. I don't really like it when the base is the is the same for for both players. So I'm saying my scout in is a little bit later than CZR's scout. Looking at the production tab, what do we got? Um, he does. CZR is the red player, so his barracks is going a little bit before mine, but I do have my refinery on the way, and he is going to be able to spot that, so he should know what I'm going for here. Uh, meanwhile, his barracks is actually down there. I'm not sure why it's down here. And he has it queued up to go to the minerals. I, I, I have no words for that. Jethro is going for a, a gateway. Second pylon is on the way. Second pylon as well for Mark Junks. He is getting an, a zealot out early, which is understandable. My barracks is done. Gonna get a marine. And no orbital command yet. There we, there we go. I, I forgot about that for a second, so it is a little bit late. That's fine. Um, meanwhile, he is just now getting the refinery. I do like the refinery to go up a little bit earlier than that. His second barracks is also on the way. My second barracks has not started yet, but my reactor is going down on the first one. Meanwhile, my teammate is still going for Zealot. He still has him queued up here. Um, second gateway is on the way. Cybernetics core is done. Warp gate being chrono boosted. My opponent, Protoss Jethro, he is. I don't. I honestly don't know. Oh, one gate into a robotics facility. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know what to make of that. CZR does have a scout down here. I don't know why this. I, the Zalnaga Tower is here. If there's anything, they they these are the weak point in the map because it doesn't really show you anything. It'll give you a hint if if they have an expansion here, but there's really no point in getting them this early in the game. Not those Elnaga Towers. My second and third barracks are on the way. And meanwhile, my Terran opponent is getting his third barracks, but still no add-ons and very few units still on the field. Uh, he's actually got more Marines than I do, and they're just running all the hell around the map. I think he's trying to spot for for pylons, possibly. Jethro does have one Zealot out, and it looks like that's about it. He's getting an Observer headed over to here to, s to spot on Mart Junks. Mart Junks does have a Robox facility up as well, getting an Observer as well. So we are seeing pretty much mirror builds from the Protoss players, but it does look like uh, Mart Junks is going to be getting more units because he does have a more gateways, the second gateway for the Protoss players just now on the way. He is very heavy on gas um, because he went for two gas so early, uh, but it does look like uh, my teammate is also high on gas, as am I. I am surprised that I'm that high on gas, but it looks like I am I have not. No, I have. I've gotten both the researches early on. I do like to get the stim pack first, then the concussive shells. Then I should be able to get the combat shield once the concussive shells are done. Meanwhile, it looks like wow! Oh, blue is stopped altogether. There's, there's nothing being researched. No, nothing being made. 
he he does have a col or an immortal. I almost called it a colossus. That is not a colossus. That's an immortal. He is getting a nexus, so he is going to be going for his expansion here. He does need more minerals. A couple centuries out as well. His observer, no, that's Mark Chuck's observer. He is headed down to the Protoss or the Terran's players base. Uh, two bunkers on the way for the Terran player. He does still have a few Marines out. Finally got add-ons on those. Now he's starting to tech switch over to Marauders almost exclusively. No, there are the Marines coming out still. And he does have a factory with a, s with, with a tech lab on it, so we should be seeing siege tanks out of it. We do see a siege tech being researched. And my ally does say we should attack. And I'm... It, He's not really even giving me an option here, so I've I, I've set my guys to follow him, and we'll see how that turns out. Meanwhile, it looks like the observer is going to spot that we left. Um, I don't. I'm pretty low on everything, so there's not much I can do except for the standard production right now. But Marchunks is going for his expansion. It is late as compared to the his uh, Protoss opponents. Uh, expansion, but it doesn't look like the Terran player has gone for his yet. He doesn't. He's not even close to having enough minerals for that. So we move in. I stim, and they try to separate our armies, and they do a damn good job of it, separating the Protoss from the Terran players. So all the Protoss units go down very fast. I re-stim up once those shields start to go down. But now that the siege tank is up, it should be able to clean this up. Not that it that the Protoss player couldn't already. So I'm just letting these guys die. No real point in saving them right now. But I do have an army still at my base because I kept producing. But it looks like I stopped for a second there. Oh, could not keep up with production. Uh, what I need to do right now is also get a second uh, refinery, get an engineering bay, uh, get two more uh, barracks up. Whilst continuing to get the expansion, the expansion is late. That should have gone up a while ago. Here we go. Going for the two more racks. There's the engineering bay. And continuing to build supply depots, it does look like Marjunks does have a proxy pylon out, but it's in the middle of nowhere as well. I'm not exactly sure what he's going for here. Maybe he's thinking about getting a third base at the high yield, but that is not wise at this point. It's too early to get that third base, especially after we just lost a battle. Looks like they are gearing up for a counterattack here. Well, the siege tank... The siege tank's not going, apparently. But these stalkers, marines, and marauders are. It looks like Jethro has stuck with the stalkers for now. It looks like that's all he's going to be getting. Uh, he does have ground weapons level one on the way. I don't. I, I don't have. Oh, there we go. I was about to say I should. This is the time for it. Uh, ground armor being researched first here. It looks. Like, oh, he did get level one. Um, weapons already researched so looks like Mart Junks is the first ahead in terms of upgrades right now looking at the army loss tab it looks like he is the furthest behind though uh, next is me but those guys are not far behind uh, looking at the spending uh, it looks like blue has gathered the most resources resources he did get that expansion out for the earliest uh, meanwhile he uh, to build the largest army. Two more gates are on the way. And what's this? A robotics bay is out with two robotics facilities. We should be seeing a ton of colossi coming out now. One and no, he doesn't have enough for a second one. Those things are ridiculously expensive. He did need it for thermal lance, so he will not have enough resources for the second Colossus yet. But look at that almost mirror build here. Uh, he is going for a second robotics facility. Even the mid game looks like the Protoss players are thinking very similarly. Meanwhile, I am continuing to get Marines, Marauders, and now, just now getting the first factory, he does have a starport out. Um, doesn't look like he's getting any medevacs out of it yet. He just does not have enough minerals. And I really don't know why. Let's look at the... Well, there's your problem. 23 minerals. The rest of us are, are pretty much at 40. And he's a little more than halfway there. That is the reason that he's not able to produce out of all these at full capacity. 
that's the reason right there. Uh, meanwhile, I do have my expansion up, already in Orbital Command, fully transferred. I like this setup right now, um, especially with the five racks and the one engineering bay. F waiting for the siege tank on this one, or yeah, the the tech lab, so I can get siege tanks, get siege tech running. I have a huge army here. I don't see that observer there. Um, so I'm not able to scan it because it's in the middle of my army and I didn't, yeah, sometimes I miss them if they're in the middle there. There we go, Tech Lab is going on the factory, so we should be seeing siege tanks out of there. That's the position that I want for the siege tanks. Meanwhile, two Colossus are out for Jethro, two Colossi, I should say. And now he spotted the Observer thanks to that Photon Cannon, which does have four kills. Er, which one of you? Yeah, this one got the three kills. And it did get repaired somewhere along the line. Three Colossus out for Mar Junks. Colossi, sorry. Uh, Protoss Shields is being upgraded for him as well. So he's 1-1. One, one, and it looks like the third one is on the way. Meanwhile, I'm still 1-0 with the shields on the way. He, what's this? Jethro is also going for charge. Um, not Well, he does have a lot of zealots. But with those Colossi, you don't necessarily need charge. It's nice to have, but it's not required yet. It's still kind of early to be thinking about that. I would think I'm not the master of Protoss tactics, though. Meanwhile, CZR is still not making any SCVs. He's up to 29, though, so he did make six somewhere along the line, uh, but he is high on energy now. I mean, look at that. I'm I'm actually in the lead in terms of harvesters. I just never stop, never, never, ever stop producing the workers. And there we go. Siege tanks do have siege mode, but I forgot about it. So there you go. Five colossi out for my teammate Mark Junks, and it looks like he, they are going for an attack here. Let's look at the army count. I am by far ahead here. I mean, look at that. 6,100. I'm not as, as far ahead in the gas, but I don't have a gas-heavy army. Um, I'm at 182 out of 182. Oh, and the red Terran player is so far behind, and he's got these siege tanks, and they're so far out of position. They're not... I mean, they can attack here. The armies are over here. He's trying to lure us in. So I take out one of the stalkers, and I'm not willing to move in with him. So he is forced to start leapfrogging these siege tanks. Doesn't look like he's doing it entirely properly, but that's all right. Uh, we're trying to get our armies in position here. Marchunks does have his sixth observer, no seventh of, or sorry, seventh colossus, colossus on the way. And here he does finally get his siege tanks in position if we would charge if they move at us see look there he lures us in that's fine I'm moving in with my massive army look at that thing rise for the blue player all his colossi go down what I actually did is a shift all clicked him and there we go and Mark Junks wants to say that it's because of his Colossi. They didn't focus down a single one, didn't take out a single one this entire game. For uh, not for not for him. They they took out all we took out all of theirs, they they didn't have anything left, and they left the game and they have no army left to speak of really. Look at that. For him he's got one zealot. Right there. That that's his one zealot. For the red player, he's just so far behind on production. He's only, he's still only got 31 harvesters. I almost have 60, so he did pass halfway. But still, he need them. He needs so many more harvesters. Look at look how far behind he is in everything because he simply didn't get the harvesters in time. You need to be able to get those produce and spend it as much as you can. As you can see, I fell behind in spending those because I was supply locked for for a while there. I actually ended up getting to 200. I needed the expansion. We were I was about to move out and get the third, but it was already a little bit too late. These medevacs somehow lived, and that's pretty much all for his army. He does have one marauder there, and that's pretty much it. It was an all-in, and when we held it off, that was the end of the game. And I'm sure Mark Junks think it was, thought it was him, but I actually got the highest score.
but whatever. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.